Hello, welcome back to our live coverage of the United Nations Climate Talks here in Cancun in Mexico. Delighted to be joined by Neva Freshville from the UK Youth Climate Coalition. She's just told me I look exhausted, so I'm going to ask <laughs> deliberately difficult questions. Um, no, I'm joking, of course. Neva, uh, the UK Youth Coalition, you've uh, been pretty active over the last 24 hours. Tell me, uh, tell me how this story started about Chris Hoon, who is uh, our uh, climate change and en energy uh, minister or secretary for state, and uh, kind of some rumours that he was about to go home. Well, obviously at the moment there's quite a crucial vote about to be held in the UK government on student fees. Mm -hmm. And the rumour was that uh, David Cameron was going to recall Chris Hune from COP16 in order to vote in favour of passing the increase on student fees bill. Mm -hmm. um, which concerned us because obviously the UK is playing quite a key role here in the negotiations by working with Brazil to hopefully broker a deal on a second commitment period for KP. Mm -hmm. And so you were a little bit worried that he was going to be sent home and, and according to The Guardian I saw this morning that, that did look likely and uh, he was uh, going to be pulled out of the, the kind of the most important negotiations in the world in order to be uh, sent back to the UK to, to vote on student fees. How did you respond? Well, obviously um, the coalition government or the Conservatives promised to be the greenest government um, when they came into power and we want to make sure that they held to this and part of that is looking at the future of the planet by taking the climate change talk seriously. So we ran a series of rapid response campaigns to put pressure on the government to keep uh, Chris Hune here um, and these included getting UK youth to phone the 10 Downing Street switchboard um, to overload it, flood it with calls showing that UK youth are really concerned about what's happening. And we also set up a kind of Twitter storm, mm -hmm. so basically getting everyone to tweet on uh, Chris Yoon and their belief that he should stay in the UK, uh, stay in the UK, mm -hmm. not return to the UK. And also did a series of um, video blogs and photo blogs from here in Cancun, showing why it was important to UK youth that Chris Yoon stays here. Mm -hmm. And what was the what was the pickup like? I know that you've got something. Is it called a hotspot in the UK with with youth working back there? So, what was the response in the UK to these uh, campaigns? Um, well, it wasn't as if we were running this campaign alone from here in Cancun. It's all done in um, tangent with our hotspot, which is basically UK YCC and our members and supporters back in the UK. We work together and share ideas and help support each other. So they were running the UK side of it and we did the Mexican side. Mm -hmm. And we had really good pickup. We got um, picked up by The Guardian and as well as some other media outlets. And we're really pleased to see that after a couple of hours, the BBC and DEC releasing um, articles and statements saying that Chris Hume was going to stay. Oh, so it's uh, a nice note to finish on. <laughs> and uh, and what? How, how did you respond to this good news? I think uh, it, there was a, a musical tribute to Chris, is that? There is, there is. Um, I will post the link for it, yeah, if post. possible. I haven't... You can post the link for it, or we could just show it now after yeah. this interview. Definitely, please do. Excellent. Okay, so um, some good news there from uh, UK Youth uh, Climate Coalition. Another win for them. Uh, you might have heard earlier in the week they uh, uh, successfully lobbied for something called Article 6, which has uh, kind of uh, got education uh, into these talks and, and got its role accepted. And now they've uh, managed to keep uh, Chris Hune uh, here in Cancun. I'm sure he'll be grateful for that as well. I doubt he'd have wanted to go back to the, the cold uh, and wet UK at the moment. 